The function q of x is a polynomial of degree 3. If q of 3 is 0, hmm, that means if I plug in 3, which of the following must be true? Well, if I plug in 3, that means I have a factor of x minus 3 living in this polynomial. All right, I know that it's degree 3. It's cubic. So if I have a factor of x minus 3, that means this is going to be some type of quadratic going on in here. Okay, so which of these has to be true? If I plug in negative 3, I get 0. I don't know, so we can't, we can't say that. Uh, Q of x has one real 0 and two complex zeros. I don't know. I just know it's quadratic. That could be the case. If I use the quadratic formula on this guy, I could get negative square roots, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I can't prove anything, so b is not it. Q of x can be expressed as x minus 3 mm -hmm, times p of x, where p of x is a polynomial of degree 2. Mm -hmm. So c seems to be good. But let's just make sure. Q of x can be expressed as p of x, where p of x is a polynomial of degree 5. I don't know where that came from. That's not even remotely true. I mean, that can't be true. These guys are possibilities, but this guy is definitely not. So c has got to be the only one that will make sense here. So c is going to be my answer.